Oh, hey, the Stevio here. So, you guys probably want to have a machinery tour. So, this is our new series on Chippewa County Farms. So, let's get to it. So we got a F-350 Super Duty Power Strokes 6.7. You guys have seen this before. It's just a great truck, I think. So we're going to keep it again. We'll go in here. We got a fertilizer truck here. We got a, a Kenworth T-880 fertilized truck with a uh, Sea Runner here. Gooseneck, a little barn over here. We got, so we're gonna have a lot of Great Plains. I just kind of like the looks of Great Plains. So we're gonna have a lot of Great Plain implements on this farm. We got a Great Plains drill. Uh, then we'll go into our shed here. We got a 1586 so I probably should have told you guys when I started so this is gonna be a little new newer kind of old school and new small farm this is our row crop grain drill here I'm not for sure on the number of this grain drill it's a little bit smaller than the end game we got our Peterbilt 389 day cab here pulling a Wilson trailer we also got our little grain truck here K70 pulling a little Wilson pup also has the boss DXT little uh, snow plow so figured this would be good on a grain truck especially in the winter you got a lot of snow when you're trying to get that corn out especially here in Wisconsin we got a hardy pull type sprayer back there we got the Silverado K10 good looking truck I think with the military tires on we got the well rich 28 100. I just like how this thing works. Works perfectly in the field. We got old Case International, uh, was that a 490? Little uh, disc, real disc. And we got, well, this is not a real disc, this is a normal disc, I should say. And then we have a field cultivator, Great Plains. So, really like the looks of this. And then here is our uh, Great Plains uh, chisel. Just like the looks of the front disc and the back uh, stock beaters right there. So we are going to do all grain bins this time. So we're going to have to get all the augers. So we have a bandit, or not a brandit, a uh, little... Uh, auger here for truck fill auger we got three bin sets we got some J&M 680 gravity wagons we got a 40 foot McDon header here we got a uh, we're gonna do round bales so a roll belt 660 and a little uh, tether back there and the coon rake and we got the Anderson RBM 2000 uh, bale pickup or we got a little car trailer there with seat on it this is our old Ford 8340 I just think with our we got a lot of farms we got a lot of farms spread out we got a lot of cattle so this is a good ranching tractor to have around we got a New Holland 900 chopper pull type chopper we got a 
New Orleans, 1431, little uh, disc spine here. And then we got a 6155R extra wide. So this is good for, uh, we're going to use it for haying. So the extra wide really covers over the, the rolls of the hay. Of course, we got a loader on the front of it. We got one of my favorite tractors this time, a Magnum 200. We got a loader attachment for this too. So I just think this would be perfect for a big loader slash uh, planting tractor. You can basically use this for almost everything. We're going to go new with the S770 this time around. So I just really like this. I was thinking about getting a case, but I really wanted this John Deere corn head, 12 row corn head with the uh, stock choppers and beat downs there. I'm not sure what these are called, but I know they uh, level out the stock so they are easier on the tires and have decomposed better. We got the Brent 1596 grain cart here with the big floater tires. Just thinks it looks so good with the big floaters on there instead of with the two. We got a 8320R John Deere here. Just uh, really been missing my R, so I decided to get it, have one back on this series. Well, and we got a 8960. I just like how this thing looks with the firestones on it. It just looks so good. So I wasn't going to get a big full drive tractor. So this is only a 400 horse, which is a lot, but this is we're going to kind of start out small, but to be honest, this uh 8320R just wasn't big enough for some of our chisels and uh, some of the implements we had so I figured it would be good just to have a tillage tractor so that's basically what this 8960 is going to be now we'll jump into our K10 so we have three farms so if you watch my farm build this is a farm I built so this used to be farmland here I built this and this is mostly gonna be where we store most of our crop equipment and then we have another farm down here this is where my brother will stay at there's obviously some equipment down here so this is where we'll have our cow calf operations at We got the Wilson Step Deck Fertilizer Tender here with the Mac Pinnacle truck. I just think this is a good truck to have, older truck to have on your fertilizer trailer. And of course, we always have to have our GNA, GEA, sorry, uh, slurry spreaders. I just like how they look. We got two Coon Knight manure spreaders here. I just like the red look over the white usually white would just show the manure so much right uh, this farm came with one bin set already and also all these silos are supposed to work I haven't tried them so these silos I don't think that one works but we got a barn set this uh, cow feedlot here is in game map arthur made it we also made a pasture off there where you can see we'll get back to looking at their equipment because this is supposed to be an equipment tour if you want to check out my map build of this area kind of did a little work on the farms not a lot so we got a massey ferguson 280 
83 sorry uh, four-wheel drive I just think this is a good tractor to have on our Anderson feed wagon there and of course with all this farmland around everyone always has a little little loader tractor around usually on the farm just to clean up this is going to be our mostly utility tractor slash mowing good to have a cab on there because most of the time you're mowing it is hot so even in Wisconsin so I just figured a cab just looks right on it and of course the H8060 New Holland so disc bind just like the way it looks so we got two kid steers this is the cat 289d so you might think man you guys got a lot of equipment well most farm families that are spread out usually have a lot of equipment because you just can't trailer back and forth the equipment you don't want to haul it back and forth everyone has their own equipment that they kind of have so usually family operations like this series is going to be as multiple equipment laying around so one of the big reasons why I picked this map too is look at the crop textures so that is one of the reasons why I picked it, it has different corn crop textures so this is more realistic in my book how it leaves a corn uh, stubble there also has different uh, soybean textures in it so we are headed towards my dad's place so he has the dairy farm There's, so then we have my brother's truck too so he has the 2017 Ford here if you want to call it squatch truck with also a boss snow plow on front means it's springtime we could probably take the snow plows off I'm gonna need to take them off we're headed down the road towards my dad's place so what is usually called the original farmyard so this is where the dairy farm will be do have a, a few equipment here so this all comes I did a little bit of work but most of this was already freestanding so we have a few cattle trailers here a Wilson uh, gooseneck here and the Wilson Silver Star cattle trailer this farm also came with its own set of bins we got some silage wagons over here uh oh left the gate open cows are so well behaved you didn't even walk out so we got some augers so if you go to any farm that uses augers pretty regularly doesn't have a grain leg or something like that they're going to have a lot of augers sitting around just because either they have spares or the augers wear out so we got a little auger here for uh, filling up the trucks and a Westfield grain auger So here's a OBS Ford here. This is my uh, dad's truck. So a little good little flatbed, I think. So we got a GMC Top Kit tandem axle grain truck there. Just because you cannot have too much, too many grain trucks on the farm. We got a Bobcat S590. So with them little uh, run flat or shock absorbing whatever you want to call them tires I just think it looks so good and this is probably our only vanilla tractor we have on the farm so just thought it'd be good I really wish I could find a more American uh, Massey Ferguson but this one will work it's basically American I've seen these around so they're good little uh, let's say 
chore tractors or uh, hay tractors. We've got this on a Coon Knight 142 feed wagon. So we've got a couple bins. I don't know. I don't think these actually work, but they they were in game. So we'll jump over the fence here. So we got our old forgotten barn over there in a pond. Don't think there's anything more. I, I know a couple of these. So these silos actually work too, I believe. For grass or corn silage. Pretty sure that's it. So we got a pretty big uh, dairy farm here. We got a lot of land. Uh, well, I shouldn't say a lot of land. I for oh, I forgot. Here's our T6. 160 so with old uh, my dad's old tractor good little chore tractor so with all the hand we got to do and everything I just think it's can't have too many of these little old chore tractors around so that's a quick little equipment tour thanks for watching and I will see you later over here in Chippewa Oh, 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 oh,